Praise God, praise God. Thank you for tuning back in to Nightline tonight. Thank the Lord for all that He's doing. Amen. Listen, I, I just want you to know tonight that God cares for your life. And the Bible says that God is love. Now, He yes. loves you and He wants to help you. And I'm going to tell you, uh, anybody tell you, tells you that God's mad at you, He's out to get you and, no. and, you know, and just do everything to you mean, what He wants to do is show you His love yes. and His care. Amen. Yes. Amen. And He wants you to be saved and born again, uh, just like Matthew over here giving his testimony. And um, But anyway, praise the Lord. That blue salvation uh, come Amen. in tonight. Amen. Amen. Somebody got saved tonight. Praise Amen. the Lord while yes. we're here. Praise, praise the Lord. Praise Thank the Lord. You, praise Jesus. the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Thankful Lord. for the Lord saving somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Uh, Pastor Mike, the Lord left the 90... I uh, left a hundred, and uh, le but he left the ninety nine just yes, to go get that one. one. Amen. Yes. So we could have a hundred. Amen. Yes. So you know, every time we uh, get to a place in our life that we don't know what to do, you know, that's when we lean upon Him. We Amen. trust Amen. Him. We believe His word. Yes. You know, I mean, you know, God isn't up there. You know, saying, "Okay, I've got, I got." 2,500 lightning bolts, and if they don't get in my wheel, Amen. you know, yeah. <laughs> you know, it, it's like it's like the uh, fellow I was reading the other day. Somebody sent me an article. A fella he got struck by lightning 21 times, 21 times, and lived to tell about it mm. and all. And so uh, I thought, my lands. I said, you know, uh, I thought, is God trying to get his attention? You know, I think you know, 21 times. <laughs> 21 you times. know, I I, I I thought 21 times got hit by lightning, and uh, and he. And it's uh, it's documented, you know, 21 mm -hmm. times got hit. You know, I, I, I'm thinking if I got hit by lightning one time, you know, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to stay in the church house all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But we're so glad tonight, amen, God can help your life, change yes. you. Amen. Listen, if you don't know Jesus Christ, He can save you, set you free, set your life at liberty. Amen. amen. There's no drug that can hold you down. Praise Jesus can God. set you free. No alcohol that can bind you up. Jesus will set you free because, praise God, there's power in that Amen. wonderful name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Well, t tonight, the Melody Air has been doing a great job tonight. Amen. They're going to sing a wonderful song tonight. Sing, children, sing. Sing of the blood that saves, 
Praise God. One day, amen, we're going to be in heaven. We're going to sing. But while we're down here, we're going to sing about the goodness of the Lord, what He's done for me. Hallelujah. When I think of what He's done for me. Hallelujah. He's brought me a mighty long way. Brought these young men a mighty, mighty long way. Yes. Pastor Michael Owens, amen, pastor, Seeds of Harvest there. Granite Falls, uh, Sawmills, Hudson, North Carolina, right in that vicinity. Yes. Evangelizing, pastoring. They are just touching lives, helping, amen. And you have made a difference in these young men's lives, yes. and uh, you're directing them. Uh, so we have uh, Matthew and, and Christopher Hamby, amen, <laughs> all the way there from North Carolina. Praise yeah. God. And uh, Matthew, I'm just praising the Lord, God, just bringing you where you, amen, just step by step, amen, hallelujah, yeah. amen. Well, Chris, praise the Lord, amen. You started a little bit there and how the Lord, you know, just began to direct your life and connected you. And uh, that morning I was ministering there at uh, Pastor Mike and church. And, and uh, from that moment on, just share your testimony, how the Lord be, um, was dealing with you. Well, when it, when after that Sunday, honestly, we was going to stay after and uh, talk to you. Because we, like we said, we, we didn't know who the pastor was. Yeah. We thought you might have the pastor. <laughs> yes, did. Oh, and, did uh, right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So we just uh, we just excited. I well, mean, that's how much he trusts me, right yes. there. Yeah, yes, yeah. He I mean, I, I just felt an overwhelming peace and joy, and I hadn't felt that in years. Praise uh, God, Brother Moore. And like I said, I knew I had to come back, so we kept going. You know, when you when you said that, just quick within me, you you felt a peace that you you never because. Mm -hmm. The man of God, that you know, he and his wife, they, they, I've been around them. They speak that peace. Yeah. They, they believe in it. Amen. Yes, sir. It's and it's the fellowship, like you yes. were speaking yes. about. I felt loved. I didn't. I knew they wouldn't judge me for who I was. I knew that because uh, me and Jessica, we we're married now, but we had a son out of wedlock. And you know, a lot of people probably would have looked down at us, you know. But but they's but, loving you. Right? Yeah, they's they loving open you. Open arms. That's, Amen. And that's yeah. what the father does. Hey, here's the way I know this man of God, this pastor. He loves people the way God loves them. Yes. Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. And uh, we kept coming back, and uh, I, I knew that something was changing in my life. And uh, one one morning, it was time for me to, I, I, I was on Subutex, and uh, I went to the doctor. It was time to go back. And I went up there, and I told her to her face. I said, I'm done. I said, the Lord's come in my life. And I'll never, I'll never go back. Oh, and she, amen. and she laughed in my face. Really? And she said, I, "In three days, uh, when you're calling me, withdrawing, begging for some pills, I'll see you, and I'll say I told you so." Oh my. Well, uh, I ain't talked to her since. Praise <laughs> the Lord. <laughs> but uh, praise the Lord. Yeah, that's just that's just how the Lord works, and it's all for His glory, really. And you know, a couple of days later, my. But you knew that in your spirit. You just yeah. knew that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I knew I was changing. I knew yeah. I was changing, and uh, if it wasn't for the pastor and his wife, uh, they basically took his, I'm, they're like father and mother to me, you know, really they adopted Look, me. Looking over your soul. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Yeah. And they just kept leading us in the right path, and uh, I remember telling my, uh, my wife, I said, uh, on the way home, I think it was the second time we went to this church, and she, we were talking about my pill addiction. And, she's, and she was talking, like kind of, she wasn't putting me down, but she was just saying, you know, you need to give it up. And I was like, I just remember breaking down in tears and saying, I, one of these days when I get baptized, water baptized, I'll dump them in the river. Yeah. But uh, the Lord, that wasn't his plan because I, I was done with those pills uh, probably God. four months before I got baptized Praise in September. But, uh, you know, he works, he works in mysterious ways. And uh, sometimes it might not feel like, you know, like right now in my walk, uh, you kind of feel like things aren't happening the way you want them to or whatever, but you got to hold on to his promises because it, it sounds, it's, it's great. And when you get saved and the Lord comes in your heart, you know, yes. you feel victorious, you yes. feel bold, you feel that love. And uh, sometimes it's easy to get discouraged, you know, and, mm -hmm. and it's not easy. Once you become a Christian, that's when the, the battle really yes, starts. Yeah. You, know? you, you learned that real quick, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, uh, because the way I think about it, Satan ain't worried about you if you're living 
living there like you hell, go. you know. Yeah, yeah. But when that, you, that'll preach right there. That's right. Yeah. Yes. But when you, when, you, when you're living for God and you're working for the kingdom, that's when he's on you. You know, he's, yeah. he's not everywhere at once. People you, think, you know, I, I'm just, I, I've said to somebody the other day about you. I, I can just see you, you two guys, and I'm going to switch gears. I can just yeah. see y'all seeing some homeless people down there. And, all, and y'all just stop your car, get down, or, and yeah. y'all, yeah. Go, y'all go running <laughs> at them. You know, yeah. just yeah. like, yeah, you're going to bombard them. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, actually, um, it was a couple months in, I got saved, and uh, I just really wanted to go back up there to the doctor that laughed at him and told him I was crazy. <laughs> yeah. So I go in there, and there's this guy in there, and his, his name was actually Matthew. And, and I walked in there, and I was like, hey, man, I'm going to tell you, there's something so much greater than these pills. And he looked at me, he's like, wait, what is it? And I said, his name's Jesus, oh. man. And I got to just <laughs> yeah. destroy right the works there in the of the devil. Yeah, right yeah. there yeah. where they treat them. And the yeah. woman yeah. That, that told us we couldn't do it, she began to cry because mm. she had seen us where we Amen. were at. Praise and she's God. seen us set free. God. And it was Hallelujah. God Amen. backing up, you know, showing I am God, I can do whatever. You, know, you just, just had powerful. to go back and say, look Amen. what the Lord has can do. Done. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, you know, there is. A life-giving power. Yes. Amen. The blood yeah. of Jesus yes. still has power to Amen. deliver. That, Amen. That, that's what we're sharing tonight. That's Amen. what we're telling people tonight. You know, you, you <clears throat> might you might uh, be a mother or a dad or a grandmother tonight that's watching this program and you're listening to this and and uh, your your son, your daughter, your granddaughter's grandson, they, uh, they, might be, they might be right where they were at. But yes. I'm telling you what, we're, we're talking tonight, we're telling you that there's hope in Amen. Jesus Christ. Yes. And our scripture tonight says, if ye then been risen with Christ. So, you know what, you, you as, a, as a Christian, you have the authority to begin to speak. Yes. And, you gotta, you, and you speak into that mountain. You speak, amen. That mountain of drugs, that mountain amen. of yes. alcohol, that addiction, <laughs> yes. Pastor Mike. So people can have freedom amen. in their amen. life. Amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. So you're with... You're, you're uh, uh, Chris. You're now, Amen. Right there with, with Pastor Mike and yes, uh, and all, and you're feeling the love of God. Yeah. And uh, and I think that's probably one of the greatest things is is to it, that you know that hey nobody's condemning me. Yeah. So from that, from the, go ahead right there. Amen. Well, uh, it starts with like you were speaking about faith. It's things hoped for, not seen. Yeah. And uh, if we didn't have that faith and the hope in the Lord. We'd have never got past there it. You go. Because there you go. Because that's where that's where the salvation comes. That's where the freedom Amen. comes. And like Matt was speaking earlier, I literally felt the the yoke destroyed. He destroyed yeah. the Amen. yoke. Amen. He's gone. And he and he yeah, said, and y'all experience. I mean, that was a spiritual. I yeah. mean, that was yeah. that was yeah. the spirit of God doing yes. that. And yeah. I mean, it wasn't something y'all thought up. Amen. 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 It was the life of God yes. that Amen. that was emanating from the yes. throne room. Amen. That's right. uh, hallelujah. I mean, because listen. I, uh, we, we've had family members through uh, up through Kentucky, Ohio, uh, die from this drug yes. addiction. I, yeah. I mean, yes, uh, what you're talking about. I mean, the, the, uh, some of these folks that uh, uh, family related, I yes. mean, grew up in Pentecost. I mean, yeah. the shouting, dancing, yes. speaking in tongues. But yet they, they, they got involved in that, that drug addiction, that alcoholism, yes. took them another route, took yeah. them, you know, listen, that, you know, the, the devil is out to kill, steal, and destroy. Yes. But Jesus said, I come that you might have life yes. and have it more abundantly. Yeah. Pastor Mike, that's where I'm at with this. Yes. Amen. You know, Brother Moore, uh, I, I preached the other day uh, there in the garden, Adam what he had, and I said, if we could have stopped at Genesis, just looked at from Genesis and not went on any further on down into the Bible mm -hmm. and just stopped with Genesis, as we looked at how great it was there in the garden, there was something missing with Adam. Mm -hmm. It was the blood of Jesus Christ. Christ. Yeah. Adam didn't have it in him to keep it. He couldn't mm -hmm. keep the garden, praise right. God. Yeah. But when it come down to Jesus Christ, he broke that darkness. He, he broke that bondage. Amen. He said, he said, you can come out from that sin nature. That, yes. that, that, that Amen. Nature. Amen. And, and the blood of Jesus Christ is the power over that. Praise God. Praise Thank God, God for the blood of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. These young men here are set free. They're free. They're not Praise maybe free. Lord. They're not might be going free. They are completely free. Praise, Praise, Praise God. Praise to the Lord. never Praise do drugs Lord. again. To, to yank people out of hell. That's what Praise I tell God. them they're going to do. Praise you God. young men are going to literally yank people out of hell. Praise yeah. the Lord. I believe Praise that with all my heart, Brother Moore. You know, when you, when you said that, the power of the blood of Jesus, 
you know, we need to, we, we need there's to. There's power in amen. it. Amen. There's yes. power. I mean, we, yes. amen. I said, uh, the other day, uh, Sunday, I, I, I just, uh, I, in my spirit, I just begin to plead the blood. Yes. I begin amen. to plead the yes. blood. Yes, amen. amen. I remember my mother, I be waking up. I remember my mother and dad. Yes. It's all right, let's plead the blood yes. over one, amen. you know, over one of the, uh, my brothers or something. Yes. Amen. Uh, because they were bound up. So, yes. So, you know what? I think as we walk with Christ, we learn this power of Christ. Yes. What God did and, and, and Matt and Chris is like, yes. He can do it in anybody's yes, he life. Can. Amen. Yes. You ask Jesus to come in, amen, amen. and cleanse you and make you whole. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. amen. Now, uh, now uh, Chris, in the process of it, you begin to uh, feel the love of God. Amen. There, yes, uh, you know, I I I got to keep lifting up Seeds yeah. of Harvest Church. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Amen. I'm telling you what, uh, Pastor Michael Owens and, and Sister Kathy there, they have a heart for people. Amen. If, if I ever ministered and being a part of a ministry, I, I prayed uh, three years ago. I said, God, put me with people who have a heart for you that yes. have the heart of God. Yes. Amen. Yeah. So from that, God began to deal with you, and, you, and yeah. so you begin to build this relationship yeah. with the man of God. I was. I, fully surrendered my life to him and it's like God closed that door and it was done for. When I, I got baptized September the 7th and you know it represents dying, dying to the old man arising. Yeah, right, yeah. And, yes. uh, and once, once that door closed, God opened another one with the pastor and uh, now me and my wife Jessica, we do the, the children's ministry. Praise the Lord. There. We yes. go and just, yeah. Yeah, yes. so we go pick them up in the van and, yes. and uh, just to spread the love of God, you know. They, I mean, yes. they're not the, they're not the best youngins, but we love them. And well, uh, listen, I, you know, I'm glad when God found me, I yeah, wasn't man, the best. Man, you know, yeah. yes. I always hadn't been preaching. Yes. You know, yeah. and and they love so, you know, the other day yeah. I was talking to somebody, and they didn't really know. They said, "Are you a preacher?" I said, "Why, well, yeah, yeah." I'm, how'd you know? They said, "Your voice." Said, "You know, when you talk." I yeah. said, "Well, I said I try to keep my preacher voice back yeah. a little bit, you know." Yeah. But uh, but the Lord just dealing, Lord moving, and and, and just uh, put you with a man of God yeah. uh, and all that that sees your potential, Amen. Yeah. And so, uh, Chris, you and Matt, y'all y'all being there and being a part of that church uh, because you, you know it's it, it, this is the way it is. Yeah. Uh, youth are drawn to youth. Yes. You know? yeah, exactly. I, I mean, you know, I was a young guy one yes. time too. I, uh, you know, I, I'm still, you know, I'm still about 15 <laughs> yeah. at heart. Amen. You know, yeah, I, exactly. I feel like I can still run, do things. Amen. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah, in here, yeah. But, yeah, but whenever this part gets yeah. there, yeah, you know. Yeah. But in my heart, you know, I, I'm young. I feel young. I, I think young. I, amen. I'm, I, I'm, I'm in, I, I just get encouraged when I hear y'all's testimony. Yeah. Amen. Yes. Yeah. And I, and I see that. And, and that fervency to know Christ, amen, yeah. to know the Lord and, and, to, and to tell people, you know, uh, because the thing about that I'm seeing, there's, there's a lot of young people, a lot of people uh, yes. bound up by drugs and alcohol. Yeah. Yes, sir. And y'all can say, listen, uh, uh, yeah. you know, Matt, you can say, I've been right there. I, yeah. I was worse than the worst, you know. Yeah. I mean, right there. I yeah. mean, you know, and all. And so, so Matt, so in that, uh, pastor's letting you do some things in the church or moving forward and all. Yeah. And you know, take a moment and uh, tonight, look in that camera there a moment, and just just tell someone about the love of Christ and how they can be born again, Amen. right there, if you would. Jesus loves you. He died on the cross for you, and uh, not only that, He came. He gave us life. You know, we don't have to live in in the sin no more. We don't have to live in hell because He brought me out of the pits of hell. Yes. And He gave me life, and Amen. He gave me a new heart, a new mind, and. Uh, a new spirit with love, and and that's where it starts, because Jesus is love, yes. and a love con conquers a multitude of sins. Amen. And and if it wasn't for the Lord, I don't know where I'd be. And like I said, it's not always going to be easy, but you have to put your trust in Him. You have to have faith in Him. You got to hope for the things that you can't see, even though you might see a mountain. He's still the God of the valley. He's the God of the mountain, and He is the God of the valley. And that's that's what I have to Praise say. Praise the Lord. You know. As you was talking, I said, the Hamby brothers going to give the devil a headache. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you what, y'all, uh, you brothers are going, y'all are going to just give the devil his due. Hallelujah. Amen. You're going to put Amen. Him, bring other young men. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And Pastor Mike, and I, and I know your heart. Amen. They know how to reach them. Yes. Amen. The other young people where they're yes. at. You know, these young, these young people, 
You know, I, I never, I hear them, you know, we say, well, they're the church of tomorrow. No, yeah, no. Uh, no, you're the church of today. That's right. Yeah. There'd be some young people walking that door yes. that's, that's got that addiction. Yes. Yeah, they look in there. Amen. And, and Amen. All, and, you know, they're, you know they, uh, they'll say, well, am I going to be received? You know. Amen. But here's yeah. the thing. Jesus Christ come to give everybody life. Whatever yes. it may Amen. be. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. You know, like I say, I... Uh, Pastor Mike, I, 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 I didn't, I thank the Lord. He, Amen. He kept me. Amen. Yes. Oh, Amen. yes, he did. He yeah. kept me. Yes, yes he did. I, I think the only thing I ever drank one time, we found some old warm beers on summertime <laughs> on the side of the road. I think somebody got saved and threw them out the door, and we, we was up there on the side of the hill <laughs> trying to drink them. Amen. Amen. A warm beer. I'm Ooh. telling you what, I thought, my God, if this what people mm. enjoy, mm. you know, I, I think we was about 13 year old. Mm. Yeah. I, I said right then, it, what, that wasn't no life for me. Well, let's go to another great song by the Melody Ayers in the Midnight Hour. What's that sound down in Jericho? Singing, singing. Marching and waiting for the trumpet to blow Singing, singing in the midnight hour God's people marched seven times around The walls of the city came tumbling down They were led by a heavenly power Singing in the midnight hour What's that sound coming out of the jail? Singing, singing in the midnight hour Preachers with no one to go their bail Singing, singing in the they prayed till the Lord started shaking the ground They never even knew when the walls came down Surrounded by heavenly power Singing in the midnight high Well, God's people know that deliverance comes When the troubles and trials are finally done The wall keeps raining on the flood and the fire But we're still singing in the midnight high What's that sound ringing out of the sky? Singing, singing in the midnight hour. Saints of God are getting ready to fly. Singing, singing in the midnight hour. There in the dawn of resurrection day, where the blast of the trumpet will be called away, raptured out by heavenly power. Singing in the midnight hour. Well, God's people knows that the deliverance comes when the troubles and trials are finally done. The world keeps bringing on the flood and the fire, but we're still singing in the midnight hour. Singing, singing in the midnight hour. Singing, singing in the midnight hour. Singing, singing in the midnight hour. Well, praise the Lord, hallelujah. In that midnight hour, thank you, Melody Ayers, amen. In that midnight hour, God will show up, hallelujah. You know, they always said the darkest uh, point is right at midnight, amen, amen. right amen. at midnight, amen. And so we, we use that in the ideology of, you know, in our life, there's, there's times that we just really can't really see everything. Yes. But here's what we got to realize is our faith is, is in God yes. and through God, amen, amen. By, through and by Him, yes. amen, we, we can be overcomers. Mm. We can live a great victorious life. And our scripture tonight says, if you have been risen with Christ, seek yes. those things which are above, amen. 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 Uh, Pastor Michael tonight, you know, uh, Matthew and, and Christopher there, I mean, they're talking about how their life, amen. Yes. Amen. It just, God just began to set everything in order. And, and the thing about this, uh, Chris and Matt, what I noticed as y'all were giving your testimony is how you, the Lord, His Spirit, w was dealing with you even, e even when that bondage was there. Thank God for the power yeah. of Christ. Amen. 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 And God had His hand upon you. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. For such a time as this. Just like yeah. there in the book of Esther, amen. For such a time as this, for God. You know, and when we say that, you know, I know, 
people say that over and over. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, for God to use you to be a testimony. Yes. Amen. I, I was out of town here the other day, and and um, I went in I, I, and at the store there, got my, got my gas paid for, and, and I... And, I, and as I was leaving, the Lord said, go tell that lady that everything's going to be all right. Amen. And I said, oh, Lord. Because every day I get up, I, amen, you know, I got, I got a stationery that I, that I read. And it said, mm -hmm. you know, it talks about this is the day the Lord has given me. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to waste it and all that. But anyway, I got out, got in my vehicle and was leaving. And the Lord said, you said you wanted every day. You know, and I've always been obedient. I didn't do nothing but get back out and walk back in there. And, and Lacey said, did you forget something? I said, well, you'll just have to excuse me. I said, but the Lord told me to tell you everything's getting ready Amen. to work out. Amen. And I said, you may not see it today. Amen. I said, but it's getting ready. You know, so simple obedience yes. tonight. Amen. Yeah. So by y'all being connected, amen, the seeds of harvest. I know you, you could have went to a dozen other churches, mm -hmm. yeah. but, but it was ordained of the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I, you know, it's ordained of the Lord. That I was preaching, you yes. know, amen. amen. Yes, I mean everything. Yeah. So, uh, Matt, Chris, I'm I'm thankful to the Lord that where God has you right now, amen. And your testimony, amen. amen. But amen. what y'all have that I see is most important is the Spirit of God that you carry. You yeah. know, sometimes our words lack, mm -hmm. yeah. but you know our spirit. Yeah. But whenever we allow the Spirit of God within us, yes, yeah. amen. It enforces, amen, amen. What the life of God is, amen. amen. Never. Yeah. The Bible said when they talked with Jesus, they said, Never spake a man yes, like this amen. man. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. So I just encourage you all. Listen, thank you. Amen. For thank serving you. the Lord. Amen. Yeah, Giving your testimony tonight. Amen. And just continue every day. Amen. Hallelujah. And I'll tell you what, you've got a pastor that's going to stand with you. Amen. Through every, everything that, you, that comes your way. Yeah. Amen. And be right there. Well, Pastor Mike, we're so thankful tonight. Had one got saved. Amen. And then someone uh, said they've really been enjoying TV 16. So thankful for yes, that. Amen. amen. But listen, these prayer requests that come in, there's so many. Amen. They come in high, people, with a uh, person with high blood pressure. Amen. Another person, arthritis, healing. Uh, another person, a family, deliverance. They need some deliverance. Yes. Uh, in their drugs, alcohol, deliverance. Amen. God delivered, didn't he, Matt Amen. and Chris? Praise the Lord. Yes. Amen. But we're so thankful tonight. He is the healer. He is the deliverer. Praise Amen. God. Let's pray tonight. Yes. Father, Amen. in, Father, the, name in the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, for Nightline. Thank you, Lord, for helping people tonight. We thank you, Lord, for the testimonies, Lord, Lord of these young men. But tonight, Lord, there might be someone that don't know you. And Lord, I pray tonight, Lord, that they would come to know you. Ask Jesus into your heart. And we give you praise. We give you honor tonight, Lord, for what you're doing. Thank you for the touch of God. Thank you for healing. Thank you for deliverance. We praise Thank you, Lord, for all that you do. We give you praise and honor for it, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen.